This is the park. Agent Dark Goose. And welcome to the park cave. Come on in, set a spell, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a chaw, grab yourself any damn dope thing you want at all. I got myself one of these damn dope tuskers you again really from like Africa. That stuff. I'll tell you what, I don't got very Pretty many. Good. Susie only brought me so many from Africa, but man, it's a damn good old brewski. It's really damn good. Here, let me open it for you. I get it myself just a pool tap. I mean, oh, oh, she loves. She, she loves still got like this fucking like lady. I want she wear. Oh, I recognize that. That's uh, that's Susie's Tuesday night, ninety ninety nine ninety. Oh, does she look good? I mean, look at that. Damn, that's her. That's her Tuesday night, ninety ninety. She looks good in it. If Susie looks this I, good, I, I, in I, I tell you, you can... what. I tell you what. Well, she ain't gonna be wearing it now. I tell you what. Susie catches you. What the hell? How the hell she just gives you the beast? She snack? takes care of me. We what you got? We got to... Oh damn. I mean, the stupidity can't get any more stupid. Oh, it than what can. It, already is. it can. It will. You Welcome know, guys, we got a damn good old show for you. Let me ask you something. You believe in, like, like the Loch Ness Monster and Bigfoot, you know, Nessie, things of that damn dumb Well, nature. you can't disprove something because you haven't seen it. So, yeah, I guess I you do. You believe in, like, aliens and shit. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I guess I do. Yeah. Well, that kind of gets us into our damn story. You know, it's it's... It's October, and you know what that means? It's spooky, oh, spooky, spooky. Spooky October. It's a spooky October. My version of Christmas. Stop the damn no Halloween. Try that damn no Halloween walker. Boy, I'll tell you what. That was. That was. Spooky things when it came out here last That made Play Doh shit come out. with that. Did. So, kind of playing it on our October it series. Turned my ass on to the Play Doh damn factory. videos. There's a story that just came out. I mean, it just came out just yesterday. It was a big old damn story, too. I'm talking about the Jersey Devil. You ever heard oh, about the Jersey yeah. Devil? Yeah, yeah. Well, the New Jersey, the, the the Jersey Devils, the New Jersey Devils, the hockey team. You know, they. I didn't realize that they got it from this damned old thing. Check this story out. I didn't know the background. Without a doubt, New Jersey's oldest, most enduring, and important pieces of folklore is the tale of the infamous Jersey Devil. For close to 300 years now, Jerseyans have told tales of this mythical beast that stalks the Pine Barrens and terrorizes local residents. Here's the damn old legend of this son of a bitch. I didn't know the legend of it. Legend has it that in 1735, a Pines resident known as Mother Leeds found herself pregnant for the 13th time. Damn, 13, 13 damn times. times. That must have been some good old poon time. They didn't figure out what caused it, I guess. But they didn't have a TV back in 1735 or whatever. They didn't have nothing else better to do. I mean, damn. So anyways, Leeds is the name of one of the New Jersey's early settlers, and many descendants of the Leeds family could still be found throughout New Jersey to this damn old day. Mother Leeds was not living a wealthy lifestyle by any means. Her husband was drunkard. He was a drunkard. A drunkard. I mean, yeah. so she's married like somebody else. Yeah, like, like me. So anyway, she's a drunkard who made few efforts to provide for his wife and 12 children. Reaching the point of absolute expiration, upon learning of her 13th child, she raised her hands to the heavens and proclaimed, let this one be the damned old devil. Mother Leeds went into labor a few months later. On a stormy night, no longer mindful of the curse she had utterly previously regarded her unborn child. Her children and husband huddled together in one room or leads point home while a local midwife gathered to deliver the damned old baby. Within minutes, however... Oh, actually, I, I skipped some. By all accounts, the birth went routinely, and the 13th Leeds child was seemingly normal baby boy. I mean, who the hell fucking wrote this shit? I mean, damn, it's written like old English or something. Within minutes, however, it's Mother... It's almost like it was written in the 1700s. May have been, I don't know. Mother Leeds on Holy Wish, and months before it began to come to fruition. The baby started to change, metaphors mized or whatever, right before her very damned old eyes. Within minutes, it transformed from a beautiful newborn baby into a hideous creature unlike anything the world ever seen. The weighted infant began growling at an incredible rate. It sprouted horns from the tops of its head, and talons like claws tore through the tips of its fingers. Leathery bat wings unfurred from its back and hair and feathers sprouted all over the child's body. Its eyes began glowing, glowing bright red as they grew, as they grew larger and the monster gnarled and gnarly face. The creature savagely attacked his own mother, killing her, then turned its attention to the rest of the horrified onlookers, who witnessed its temptationless transformation or whatever the hell they said. I mean, come on, stop! I'm trying to read this! We're acting it It's bad enough it was written in the 1700s. It flew at them, clawing and biting, voicing unearthly shrieks the entire time. It tore the midwife's limbs, limb from limb, maiming some and killing others. Damn! I mean, hell, then the monster knocked down the door to the next room where its own father and siblings cowered in fear and attacked them all, killing as many as it could. Then, I guess, it terrorized, and unfortunately, it, it just took off. And they're still saying this damned old devil exists in this very damned old devil. How old would it be now, though? 
guess match. I don't know. I mean, fuck, you want to throw it down to a birthday party or something? I do, yeah. I mean, shit. We ought to have a well, Devil check party. Check this out. Check some of these sketches out of this damn dope thing. I mean, you know, I mean, shit, that looks kind of, well, looks kind of fucking creepy. That looks like, well, it kind of looks like, like first, a velociraptor and a turkey. Looks kind of like my first ex-wife up there at that buffet at the Shoney's trying to get those sausage baddies oh, off of it, you know? Oh, she always loved those sausage. She liked that, she liked that damn those sausage. But look at some of these sketches. It's kind of kind of crazy. Well, the reason why I told you all that bullshit was to tell you what happened recently. I guess it was late Tuesday night. There was a there was a, an onlooker, a witness to this damn Jersey damn no devil. His name's Dave Black of Little Egg Harbor Township, was driving home from his security guard job in Atlantic City when he saw what he thought was a llama running. Now a llama in llama. Jersey, I mean what the fuck? Tina, I mean, damn. get some dinner. Eat the you fat lard. Damn! I mean, come on. Anyways, he thought it was a llama running in and out of the trees lining the road. I was, this is his quote. I was just driving past the golf course in Galway on Route 9 and had to shake my head a few times when I thought I saw a llama. What happened next is the bizarre part. If that wasn't enough, then it spread out leathery wings and flew off over the golf course. What? Damn! I mean, it flew off. It just spread wings and Man, flew off over the golf course. whoever happens to me like that. Black said he grabbed his cell phone and snapped off a few photos, but only one came out. The creature quickly disappeared, he said, and left Black just wondering. I like, yeah, wondering what the fuck he damn just damn do sing. I wonder if he's smoking some of that weed. Well, he swears up and down that it's real, and that's the damn dope picture right there. I mean, it looks like a goat with wings. I mean, what they do, tie a goat up and, like, string it up on a damn dope tree. This is Halloween. People are pulling tricks and shit. I bet you somebody hanging from a tree. It's probably like some... Like a pinata? You think they're going to beat that until it's candy like and that prizes old, come It's out like of... that old man from Lost Boys that took all the stuff and, uh, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I got Maybe more Maybe that's what them. we got to do with that damn thing. Fill her up with candy and beat her ass until candy and prizes come out sounds like a good weekend, man. I mean, damn, you probably bit five or six Are you, are, are you up now. for that, Courtney? A little, a little pinata action? Anyways, leave in the description if you believe in this Jersey Devil or maybe you, you know, maybe you read yeah, something. Yeah, I'd like to hear maybe some you of your account. No encounter of it. Or maybe you have your own damn story of something creepy that you've seen. This is Halloween. Let us know. And we'll talk about this damn dope thing. I mean, I, be I believe in I something kind of like it, but I mean, it's like my ex-wife. I mean... Well, she's damn sure a devil. And she's got a PP pee, pee too, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. She, but now, now she doesn't so much, like, kill children. She'll just go in, and your wallet will just be empty. Well, you know, I don't know about all that shit, because I've dealt with that three damn times. But, you know, there's, all, there's a ton of damn stories about people that have seen this Jersey Devil and have seen things like the Loch Ness Monster, Nessie, seen the Big Bull Barefoot or Bigfoot or whatever the hell his damn dope name is, <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons, remember that old son of a bitch? Harry you know, Henderson. see things like that. And the closest thing I've ever got to barefoot, you know, or Bigfoot, is when, when Susie came in with her good robe to the fridge looking for something to eat. Well, you she, know? Sometimes she's wearing one of those beautify masks and she's got all yeah, that she got, well, she uses, shit. Yeah, she uses, she uses something since it's October. She had one of those pumpkin pie facials or something. I don't know what You ever eaten that? Is that any good? Nah, well, I mean, you know, usually, usually I got the rollover guarantee in my house, which means anybody that, anybody that works late knows you get the rollover guarantee. But in my house, it's a little different. I roll Susie over, she bitches at me, and then I just leave and she goes back to sleep. Oh. Yeah. That's a rollover guarantee. Damn. But anyways, guys, as always, like, favorite, subscribe. We can't thank you enough for doing what you're doing. You guys have been subscribing to us. We want to thank all of our damn old friends on Facebook and all the groups and all the individuals that are sharing us and telling their damn dope friends about the two craziest sons of bitches that they've ever seen on damn dope YouTube. We can't thank you enough. Keep doing what you're doing because we're going to keep doing what we're doing because, well, we just don't got That's no damn choice. Yeah. But it is October, so we want to hear your spooky damn dope stories. Tell us some spooky stories. And if you got anything to add about this Jersey Devil, we want to hear about it. We can't wait to hear you see read your comments right. down in the book. Figure out what we're going to dress up for for Halloween. We're going to do a little couple thing. What, like Sonny and Cher or something? Somebody, I mean, I kind of like thought, thought about Tina Turner and Ike. Y'all dress up as Dumb and Dumber. She can be fucking Lloyd and you can be fucking Harry or some shit. I thought, I mean, about, thought about dressing up like Tina Turner so I could just beat the shit out of her and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. What's love got to do with that? Damn it, I want my 10%, Tina! That's just making a little fun. 10% of fucking what? I mean, damn. And my beef snap. 
Anyways, guys, until next time, we'll see you real soon. And get some on you. Damn! Why you always gotta end shit that way? Don't tell them to get some on them. It's October. It's trick or treat. We want them to. We want them to get the treat, and not the trick. Well, I think I want them to get the trick. It looks like you got the trick set on I your lap. We gotta get the fuck out of here.